Hey guys, um, I thought it'd be good today to have a look at the Nespresso Aeroccino 4, the new model. Um, if you've been with us a while on the channel, you know in the past we did a review of the old one, um, but there have been some changes, so I thought we'd have a look at those. On the box though, you can see that it still does the same drinks, it still does a latte macchiato, also a cappuccino, and it also still has a cold froth button. So the buttons are the same, it's still dishwasher safe. Um, even though the buttons have been moved onto the jug, which we can see there, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. And it's also now be confirmed on the Nespresso website that it can be used not just with cow's milk, but you can use it with almond milk, soy milk, so alternative milks, uh, oat milk especially, they can be used in the machine. But let's get it out, we'll take a look at just what's changed um, and see if you like the new version better than the old one. Again, we notice that the packaging is a lot more recyclable, a lot more eco-friendly now. Um, it's made in China, by the way, if we have a quick look on the base, it just says made in China. So inside the box then we have the whisk. We've just got to be careful taking that out. We don't want to break anything. Um, this whisk stays in the, um, the device at all times. You don't take it out to make different drinks. You only take it out to clean it. We just take the new Nespresso Aeroccino 4 out of the box. Obviously it comes with a manual. Packaged up in what seems to be paper, again, to be more eco-friendly. So that's our first look at the new jug then. It looks remarkable. It is a little bit different actually. There are some changes. Like we say, the buttons used to be on the base around the bottom. In fact, I'll show you that now. I'll get the, the old version and give you a look at that. As we can see then, if we look at the differences, we've lost the, this is the old version. We've lost this ribbed edge on the inside of the handle. It's now um, flat. We've also, it's not as shiny, the handle. It's now a matte finish. If we can look here, we'll see it's got a matte finish to it. If you follow the channel, by the way, you'll know I um, gave this one to a friend. They've lent it back to me today to be kind. So just so I can show you the differences. On the base, we've got the four buttons. So we've got cold broth, latte, latte, um, cappuccino and latte macchiato. On the new version, they're actually on the jug, but the good thing about it is the jug has still remained dishwasher safe, which is quite clever, isn't it? But if we have a look from above, we'll see an absolutely massive difference in the amount of countertop space these two um, take. The diameter of the old Aeroccino 4, that's about 15 centimetres, whereas the diameter of the new one is like 10 centimetres. So you're talking a good, well, you can see from above there, a massive chunk difference. And um, There's not much different on the inside of the jug. However, this one just seems, it might be, a bit of an illusion and uh, because of the buttons being on the jug but it seems a lot more a little bit more compact only a tiny bit more than just the jug on this one the uk price of the, the new era channel 4 is 89.99 and um, which is obviously a big jump from what it was a few years ago but isn't everything it's also still just 10 pounds more than the era channel 3 and um, so you're getting a bit of an upgrade there because like i said you don't have to take the whisk on on and off all the time uh, that can be left in there during due to make the different milk preparations um, so that could be worth £10 and also the fact that it's dishwasher safe, it's going to save you a lot of hassle cleaning. Um, so yeah, it's still not a massive price difference. Just to talk you through the buttons on this one then, um, you've got a cold froth button for your iced coffees. Um, you've got a hot milk button. Now that is obviously just for hot milk, but I would also class that as a latte button because it's very low froth. Um, we've got a cappuccino button there, that's for, for making your cappuccinos, that kind of medium froth. And then you've got max froth level there for like a latte macchiato. As with the um, previous one as well, there's still the lip on the jug uh, to help it to pour better. Um, it's got a non-stick inside um, coating, but do be sure to still to wash it out with a damp cloth between uses if you're not putting it straight in the dishwasher, um, just so you don't get any burn on there on the inside. Um, and also be sure to match that up, the lid, uh, the lip on the lid with the lip on the jug when you place it back on just so you don't get any overflows. Well, I thought it might be good to do then just to show you the machine in use is to make a quick latte macchiato. We do have a video on the channel showing you how to make a cappuccino with the Aeroccino and the virtual machine by the way so I'll link to that above now. Do check that out but for the latte macchiato we're just going to pour it and um, milk. I'm using semi skim today but you can use different kinds of milk as we've mentioned already. We're just going to pour it to the max froth line um, which is about 120 ml of milk and then we're going to add a shot of espresso um, over the top of the milk just to get that band of coffee, that nice band of coffee in the middle. So as you can see then it is quite a nice size compared to the Virtual Pop. This is not the Virtual Next machine, this is the Virtual Pop and it's still smaller than it which I was a bit worried about. I thought it might come up above it. I'm just going to hit this right hand side button here, the Latte Macchiato button. So that's now woken the machine up, it's turned it on and if we press it again it should set it frothing. Have a look in the top. 
that's frothing up nicely now. So that's now frothed up, pour it out into the um, breather recipe glasses from Nespresso. This is just semi skim milk, if you remember. Very frothy. So let's pour a shot of espresso over the top of that. As we can see then it is very very frothy that latte macchiato setting the other ones are slightly different though and then obviously we've got the, the um a bit leftover milk in the jug around the edges we could either rinse that out um with water and just a damp cloth nothing abrasive because it will scratch the inside um, or you could put it in the dishwasher whichever is preferable to you and um, but i hope you've enjoyed just a little look at the new or the latest model of the aeroceno 4 from nespresso would you upgrade from the old one do you think the changes to the model uh, will make you upgrade. Will it make you buy it now when maybe you wouldn't in the past? Let us know in the comments. We enjoy hearing your thoughts. Because we have done Aeroceno 4 reviews in the past, by the way, we have assumed a little bit of previous knowledge about the machine in this video. But if you have no previous knowledge and you want to know even more, even more in depth, then do check out um, our Aeroceno 4 review that we did on the past machine above. I'll link to that above now. Um, and also our other Aeroceno 4 videos on how to use the machine. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like, subscribe, um, and bye for now.